Welcome back to Rising 841 now. So ladies, we go through a number of body changes from teenage years to adulthood, and some of them can be flat out embarrassing, but if you don't talk about it, you won't know what to do when you have a problem. So joining us today to talk about a very common infection for women is OBGYN doctor Colleen Cardella with Novant Health Randolph. Good morning. So Good we're talking morning. about UTIs, the infamous urinary tract infection. So number one, what causes it? And why do, we, why do we even get them to begin with? Sure. So urinary tract infections are infections of your bladder. And they're caused by ascending bacteria going from your urethra, which is where you urinate from. Um, very common in women. Some studies estimate up to averaging one urinary tract infection per female per year, um, especially because just the anatomy of the way that the bladder works for females. It just happens. So what are the symptoms, the common symptoms of urinary tract infections? Sure. So they can really range. Um, usually it's your first symptom is going to be painful urination, frequent urination. Um, you may see blood in your urination. Um, also things like back pain, fever, more concerning for more serious infections involving the kidney. So this would be for a number of days in a row then? It's not just like a one day, one hour deal. Yeah. If it happens day after day, then you should be concerned about ETI. Certainly. If you're having, you know, here and there pain, that could be other things. But if you're having continual pain, definitely if you're having fever or back pain, you need to get evaluated by your physician. Okay. So you think you have a UTI, that's the next step. Then you mm -hmm. have to go to the doctor. If it's a true urinary tract infection, you will need medicines. Um, you'll also want to submit a culture to be sure that the medicine that you're receiving is appropriate. Um, we do have an increasing amounts of bacterial resistance, so want to get tested for that. And there are other things that could cause painful urination that you want to make sure get ruled out. Okay, so you go to the doctor, you get the treatment. Now everybody's talking about cranberry juice or mm -hmm. cranberry tablets. Do those sure. work? Is that a real thing? So there haven't been any really good big studies that have addressed cranberry juice or tablets. Um, some do suggest a benefit, but the truth is that the risk is probably very low, so you're not going to hurt anything and they could potentially help. So what can you tell women who are embarrassed or shy to talk about their situation? as far as coming to the doctor. Yeah, and I think we're here to help. Um, find a doctor that you have a good relationship with and feel comfortable talking about those things. And it's a very common problem that we see often. So just to wrap it up, any last comments about UTIs in general? Just common. If you're having symptoms, be sure to get evaluated by your physician. So don't be scared. Don't be <laughs> embarrassed. It happens, ladies. All right, well, that's enough of that. Now we are going to switch it up and talk to Derek, who... Uh, Derek